capital is a branch of the government over a century and a half old, established under President George Washington in 1789, the United States Treasury Department. We're going to take you inside and introduce you to the former chief coordinator of the law enforcement agencies of the Treasury Department, Mr. Elmer Lincoln Irie. I am happy to have this chance to tell you about the work of the law enforcement agents of the Treasury Department. There are six units of shock troops in the Treasury's striking force against crime. These are the intelligence unit, which tracks down income tax violators, the Customs Agency Service with the Border Patrol, which fights smuggling, the Narcotics Unit, the Secret Service, which guards the President and ferrets out counterfeiters, the Alcohol Tax Unit, which uncovers bootleggers, and the Coast Guard. These are the six fingers of the Treasury Department fist, and that fist hits fair but hard. To give you an idea of how big a job they really do, in one year, as high as 64% of all prisoners in federal penitentiaries were set there by this group. We are going to show you a composite case, which will let you see how these agents work and how the units cooperate. We call it the Shanghai paper case, and it was broken just as we broke the Al Capone case. Undercover work, such as was necessary in this case, means danger and plenty of it. The case started in Los Angeles in a district just off Santa Monica Boulevard. A Secret Service agent had arranged a meeting with an underworld informer. The informer had promised to turn over a clean sample of the paper being used by a counterfeit gang. This was the first break in a long and baffling case. 